One of the really great features of the Qtile window manager is it has its own built-in drop-down terminal um, so you don't need to install Gwake or Tilda, you just need to activate it in the config file. So here's how you do that, you just open up your config.py in a text editor and then we're going to add scratchpad and drop down to our config imports here and then down below the groups list and this for loop, we're going to append a scratch pad to the groups. So scratch pad is its own group which is hidden by default in Qtile, but you activate it by just appending it to the groups list. So you make a scratch pad and you give it a name, so I've just called it scratch pad, and then this is now a list of the drop downs you want within your scratch pad group. So I've made mine term and this terminal here, this is just the variable for my um, guest terminal in the top of my config, but you could have this as anything, so mine's alacrity, but you could put kitty or um, st or whatever you use um, in there. And then the defaults are pretty good, but they're a little bit small for me, so um, if you go to the Qtile website, to the groups page, you can scroll down and this is the scratch pad and there are the keys you can set within this config um, so I've just changed my height and my width to make it look like that um, but you can change it to whatever you like uh, close that off and then you need to add the key command that's going to fire this scratch pad group so it's just the standard key that you would use in your keys uh, group uh, list at the top um, so I've just got mine set to modern space but you could put F12 in there if you liked uh, so it's like the Quake defaults and then we just need to feed it scratch pad which is the name from here and term which is the name for the drop down and that's it now you can um, have a Quake style scratch pad just in your default Qtile config